Why the heavy why the heavy's light cones looking like they're shining out of the cockpit window? What can you see a heavy? Person can't leave a secure zone. Interesting. That's marked as a staff zone. Happy anniversary, Nutter. There we go. Dr. Dre, holy moly, five years, really? Uh, welcome to the nut house. Happy anniversary, Dre, good luck with the race later. Godfather, we did. Gamer Guy, thank you for serving Gamer Guy. Welcome to the nut house, sir. Dre's got a shiny acorn. Come on, Bitrate, sort yourself out. Right, so currently what we're trying to do is flush out the flight plan. That's the plan here. So it should start to tail off Saturday, Sunday. I've turned the auto planner off. So let's just go ahead and speed things up a bit. We need to flush out the flight plan so that I can remove some airlines. Yeah, the, the Dre's um, taking part in the Bathurst 12-hour eye race. Which I would love to join them with, but I haven't got my rig yet, so... Not gonna happen. We need to build up a buffer of money because we're about to lose a lot of money, I think. <clears throat> we'll have very little in the way of income. Other expenses, construction, supplier purchases, look at that. Operations. Aye, 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 aye. I, I do wonder. We pay, we pay a lot of money for administrators, right? So we pay four grand in administrator fees actually that's corporation taxes that's not actually staff salary administrators oh that's fine yeah i was gonna say we pay 200 to admins who save 25 percent on operations but yeah it's worth it uh everest thank you for the bits the fun about the light cones just watch the mediums or heavies on the taxiways uh okay they get snowing again Yeah, they're not on the taxiway yet. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of packets. The only the only potential fix is to bounce the stream and try a different ingest server. Stand A1 delayed again. When we do get the airlines sorted out, I might try specific stands for specific airlines and see how that works. Wow, Lufthansa absolutely hates us. It's amazing. I do wonder if it's down to catering. You've done it, you're now officially CEO of a fully operational. This is just the beginning. Oh. It looks like the uh, tutorial's done. <laughs> well, okay then. You should section off different stands for certain airlines. That's actually what I just said. 
I just said that. I said when we sort the airlines out, we should have specific stands for specific airlines. So we've got delays again. I think the snow is causing problems. Good evening, Scania man. Ooh, I've actually got a heavy in there. Boarding not started yet. Let's move upstairs. Hey, what? Why are they walking down here? Oh, they're construction workers. Oh, he's not con Wait, what's going on here? Welcome back. Construction workers fine. I just saw people crossing that line. Look. This person here. Ooh. <laughs> No, that person definitely just walked straight through that line. Oh, she's an employee. That's fine. That's fine. It's a staff line. Staff only down there. Everybody else goes through the shops. Okay, Burger King's open. They're all open. That's open. That's open. You found yesterday that you can build a taxiway over a runway. Is that actually a good idea, though? While something's taxiing across the runway, it'll effectively close it, but... I mean, yeah, it should be possible. You can cut across runways in real life, so I don't see why you wouldn't allow it, but... Yeah, it's early access. Oh, there's some massive delays going on here. This is why Lufthansa haters. Actually, the the pushing back only very slightly late. Okay, so what am I watching, Everest? What am I looking for? Is something about taxiway lights? Uh, Lasta, thank you very much. Why does Lufthansa hate us? I think because they expect us to um, treat them like they're the most important thing in the world. And because I'm not doing that, they hate us. See, although you have to make these seven wide, the wingtips actually go much further. Like, if you've got a building here, that's just going to clip right into it. I wonder if they're going to go for de icing. It's minus six. I know, gamer guy, I know. I've, I've suffered massive packet loss. Um, I'm kind of hoping it will settle down. If it doesn't settle down, I'll have to bounce the stream, which I don't want to do, but... It could be an Ninja server problem, I don't know. At night, the taxi lights of the planes, look like they're shining out of the cockpit, gotcha. Alright. We shall check that later.
Why does it look like the spraying magnolia paint all over the 747? <laughs> Really frag, that's weird, man. I think it may be on Twitch's side, you've had the same on other streams too. Like I say, maybe it'll settle down. Uh, is it the same or similar game engine as Prison Architect? I, I don't believe so. I think the guys who did this just custom developed it. Do I still do something about trucking? I will do when I've got my rig back. Right, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Welcome back. Jeez, these flights, man, they were booked so far in advance. Happy anniversary, Nata. The rig is rigged. Nero, thank you for 18 months. Let's have a look. There aren't any more projects we can do. I kind of wonder if you get rid of some administrators. Or maybe you can put them on some stuff. Hang on, supply discount. Have we got any people we can put on supplies? Let's hire some more admins. Because they're not that expensive and they save a lot of money. I'm kind of wondering about the skill level of the administrator. Like if it actually makes a difference. Right, that guy's £6 an hour. 37 that productivity line, though, an employee's skill determines how well they perform their job test. The better the skill, the faster and more qualitative they perform their job task. The higher the skill an employee has, the higher their salary claim usually is. So it kind of says it does have an effect. I will hire you. You're a bit too low. You're... A... We'll hire you. <clears throat> You're way too expensive. We'll hire you. And then we'll bring everybody up to minimum standard. And then we'll put on a supply discount. Cost reduction. Marketing. 5% passenger spending. Ooh! Increased spending at food and shop franchises. That's interesting. How do you clear this out? I, I didn't I didn't miss it, Mantas. I haven't got round to it yet. There's a few more in the queue now. I don't read them as they come in. I read them in batches. Mantis, uh, been lurking the past few months because of uni, but still love watching the streams. Keep up the good work. Well, good luck with uni. And thank you for two months. Mr. Nero, welcome back. Thank you for 18 PC tech. All the best, sir. 63 months. Uh, does it give you an average of how much you're paying your employees? It doesn't give you an average, no. It just tells you the total cost. I mean, your average is kind of determined by the skill level. Nose in them. <laughs> it's just a number, mate. Do you know what? I've just noticed that the tower has a shadow that moves. I had not noticed this before. Because, like, this building doesn't cast a shadow. It seems to be the only one that does. Yeah, they should put a shadow on this. Definitely.
Uh, who's not happy with Scumbag International? Lufthansa. If you look at the flight, if you look at this, uh, Lufthansa are on 5%. That's gone up 1%. So very hard to read. SAS 12%. EasyJet's come down a bit as well. Everybody got really annoyed because of the delays. Actually, I think that's gone back up again, Aer Lingus. Yeah, my theory is reduce the number of airlines and focus attention on them more. I think one of the things I need to worry about next is the catering. I don't have any catering uh, facilities. Catering depot. A hub where food is supplied by delivery trucks and made into meals for passengers and then transported to the aircraft by catering trucks. Requires both public and a service road connection. Okay, so my public road connection's here. That's a service road. In theory, in theory, we could reuse, we repurpose this road here. That might not be a bad idea. Hang on a second. Oh, that's okay. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Wait, it says it needs a public and a service road. But the only symbols there are the ones on the right, which are as a service. Oh, that's a public road. Oh, the service road's on the left, look. Maybe we could do it underground. What if we drop down a level? Mm -hmm. Can't build on the underground. It has to be built on the surface. That's really weird. Am I up to date on Picard? Uh, I didn't watch yesterday's episode yet. I've not had a chance to watch yesterday's. Okay, that's slightly disappointing, the way that it has to be on the ground level. That is very disappointing. Ever tried out Software Inc? Uh, oh, you mean Software Incorporated? No. You threw me then because you said Inc with a K. <laughs> I was like. Well, I don't really have anywhere to build this on the surface apart from over here, which would then necessitate a public road going that way as well. Which would have to go underneath and then pop back up here. But there's an underground service road, so it's not all bad. It just means the catering depot is going to be a long way away from everything else. Which I'm not massively happy with. The other option is to build it here, and then have a public road come underneath. Which is probably the best option. Wait, no, that's the public road. That's the service road. It's the other way around. Uh, can you do two ground lower? You can go down two floors, but this particular building has to be built on the surface. Because as soon as you go down a floor, it says can't build on this floor. You would have to have a public road into the secure area. Well, technically speaking, this is not a secure area. The only thing that makes this secure is the service road.
But, you know, you could put a fence around it. You could mouse over the ratings to see if you can see the white expanded tooltips in my game, they disappear quickly. Or this. It just says the higher the satisfaction, it doesn't actually tell you what the problem is. The right corner. Right, the right corner, the right corner. You've lost me. Strictly speaking, I think we're going to have to put it here. So let's see. That's the public road. So I have the public road coming in there. And then the service road can duck, can duck underneath. Oh, man. This is not good. Can't you move a part of the airport to fit that area? Hmm. The problem is that's public. That's all public. All of this is on the level minus one now. Minus two's got all the public car parking. I don't really have a, a service road accessible. All the service roads are on this side. That's where the network of service roads are. That's why the easiest way to connect in is like here. But I can't do it there. But effectively, this is airside. There's a way to put it near the heavies. Well, if I put it up here, I've still got the same problem of connecting to the service road, which is currently here. I mean, right now, we've got this public road that goes here. <laughs> and then we've got the heavy stands and no fence. <laughs> it's just crazy. I think the way forward is to have the service road come that way. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So we'll, we'll basically drop it in here. So we put it that way around. It's just a shame that I only left one gap here. Because there's a service road connection right there and I can't get to it. Happy anniversary. You're not putting the space where your garbage depot is. Well, this is what I originally suggested. But then you'd have to bring a public road into here. Which I don't think is any worse than having a public road here. But, you know, I think, I think this would be a better place because it drops you straight into the network. And it's also in the middle of the airfield, so when we go over here, the catering can, trucks can go that way easier as well, rather than having to go from the other side of the airport. I meant the ratings left of your email icon on the bottom menu bar. Ah, you mean this lot? You mean this stuff here? I've never really looked at this. Airline satisfaction, average. Uh, baggage loaded on aircraft, 0%. What? Recent airline aircraft opinion of... All departing baggage was received, and it's on zero. Airline infrastructure quality, recent airline opinion. Improve the, by upgrading tarmac quality of runways and stands. As if the airline cares. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. This one's worrying. Zero percent. Also, we had lowering the cost of aircraft turnaround consumables. Oh, that might be down to fees, you know, because back in the early day, back in the early day, we jacked up the cost of things. 
Yeah, the Jet A1 fuel fee is quite high. So they're probably complaining about that. Yeah, like all the fees are jacked up, so. Because when we were struggling for money, which we're not now, but we used to be, all these were put up to make more money back. The icing third. Bring it down. Put the ratings up a bit, lose some money. That's why EasyJets are happy, they don't care about the luggage. LOL. Dave, mate, to four squirrel, have you had any flights in your airport from the military? Nope. I didn't even know that was in the game. Also, do you have freight options yet? Nope, didn't know that was in the game. We'll be lurking for most of today's stream as I've got to wash a very dirty car inside and out. Have fun. Uh, David C, at work on a Saturday, but always happy to have your streams. Uh, thank you for 39 months, Dave. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with um, putting it here and linking the public road in that way because I think that's going to make life a bit easier. So is that a fence? Don't tell me I've got a fence here. I don't think you even need a fence. It's just purely aesthetic, I think. Right, so you've got tunnel, public road, going down like that. Turn it around. Boom. You just fought to Anna Canty, 1505 as a cabin crew, work for Lord of Motion Vienna. Nice one, bro. Will you do some better flooring? <laughs> what does that mean? What's wrong with my flooring? Wait, where's the um, fence icon again? I thought it was here. Vehicle checkpoint. It's a lovely shade of brown. Yeah. I can't find the fence icon. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll cheat. I'll copy this one. Right, so that's a public road that's now level minus one, so we'll we'll build the um we'll build the catering depot. Whose service road will be on that side. Public road on that side. So if we have a tunnel coming back up, um let's see. Public road tunnel coming back up here like that. Can't build on this floor. Okay, build on that floor then. Uh oh. Good job I checked this. <clears throat> Dang it. Well, we either drop down an extra floor. <laughs> Hang on. What's the difference between a tea cake and a hot cross bun? Oh my god. I see you're talking about the important things again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh man. Like, it's to do with the ingredients more than anything. It's to do with whether they put, you know, raisins or sultanas in there. It's to do with it has a glaze or not. Whether it has a cross on the top. Like, just like... It's the bo it's like saying what's the difference between a ham sandwich and a cheese and tomato sandwich. Well, they're both made of bread. They've just got different things in it. <laughs> and the sandwich shaped. You put them in your toaster. <laughs> you put butter on, you're done. <laughs> Is it a bomb or a bap? Oh my god. I think we'll have it coming in sideways like that. And then I've got some options here. To um to dive down two levels. Hey, what's that? Hello. 
Is that, oh, that's a weather station. Right, so we have this in law. Ivan, thank you very much uh, for gifting five subs again. Ivan, thank you so much, sir. GG. And if you just got a sub, please give him a thank you. No stream without a sub, bomb. Unbelievable. Uh, road, we want a public road tunnel down. Let's leave a little bit of room. So we go down a level like that. And then go down a level again. Like that. And then do the same over here. So that should be on minus two now. Uh, and then go public road. Basically join these up. So then the public road will come into here. We'll kind of fence it off, you know. Fence it off like that. Should put one here as well. Just for the super security of it. Doesn't make a jot of difference, but it kind of looks cool. No, you, there is literally no problem. You don't even need to do it. Like, because this, the way the game works is the AI will only go where you, where you zone it. So, in theory, all we need to do is, is make this like a secure zone and they won't even, don't even without offense they won't even go there if i say you know security secure zone do that in fact staff is better in a way i won't let me staff on that um yeah they, they generally speaking won't do it Okay, let's go with um, service road and we'll link this in. We'll link it in like that. I don't want to put too much pressure on this junction. Average meal preparation time, one minute. Hourly operate, operating cost, 50 pounds. Depot's not awaiting incoming's resupply. No catering food supply, contract signed. Stored food, what's this do? Oh, so it jacks the cost up, but reduces the meal prep time. Blimey. So if you say like, 100 pounds an hour. I mean, I have no idea what to set that on. Right, we need a catering contract. Uh, catering food suppliers. Okay. Cafe, Pac Cafe Pacific will do a pound cost delivered per food item. 2,700 food items per day. Sky, Sky Garden, 2007, one pound. One pound. Is anybody cheaper than a pound? Welcome back. Not a Doesn't look like it. Like, literally just the amount that they do. Alright, gate gourmet sounds good. Let's do that. So now there should be a resupply coming in. Welcome back. 
Benner, thank you for giving us subs to Zugwig. Welcome back, Zugwig. Thank you, Benner. Uh, so the catering trucks should go this way and drop off the food. Um, but we'll need vehicles on this side. We're not going to need catering vehicles, aren't we? I have no idea how many we need. A catering service requires a food hauling vehicle. The catering truck is a reliable workhorse. Um, I pff, one per stand, or is that too much? Happy anniversary. I found out this is actually those item per delivery truck, so you'll get four trucks to deliver the food. How many catering trucks do we need? Diamond Tiger, uh, one month until two years. Thank you. Yeah, well, there's no point enabling catering until I've ordered the trucks, is there? with 10 I guess Happy anniversary, Nata. we should be able to allocate one per stand doing that color these things color code them what if you have like blue for baggage then we can identify what vehicles doing what Catering. Catering trucks are here. Sign to depot. Nope, you can't assign them to a stand. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Um, okay, catering. I don't know what color to make it. Okay, let's go with, um, let's go with that weird color. Pinky purple. Okay, so we've got catering trucks. Hopefully we've got some food in here. No, we have none. Awaiting supply. Banana yellow. Well, we could do, um, that's catering. Service car, pushback truck. I think the pushback truck should be banana yellow. I like the idea of the pushback truck because it tends to push them in a banana shape. It's kind of fun. Please give us a set all button. That would be so nice. That would be so nice. Okay, they're all banana yellow now. Uh, thank you, Weasel. Duke, thank you for 35 months. Haven't been able to join a stream in a while. Great to be back. Welcome back. McBone with 74 months. Thank you, McBone. Big number. Why is it taking such a long time? 
for the catering to turn off. I am slightly concerned about this. I would have thought it should have been here by now. Mr. Bretson, how are you doing, sir? Bretson, are you going to um are you going to the expo in Vegas? Big update to satisfactory. Meh. New T fifty four months, another already. Time goes fast when you're having fun. Thank you, Newty. I don't think we're gonna get any food here. I think something's broken. Definitely a public road. So I don't know what's broken. You didn't connect the underground road. Yes, it did. It goes down here. It goes down again. There's a road. It goes up. It goes up. It comes here. Unless I've messed that up, that's connected. Are you, going to, are you going to Vegas? I need to make that decision this week and then book something if I am. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking who's going. McKayon, thank you for 64 months. Like, to go to Vegas is expensive. And I don't particularly like Vegas. You won't be in Vegas because Auntie's getting married in July, but I'll be at Cosford. Oh, you went to Cosford? Noise. Noise. Blimey. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe they don't turn up till you turn the operation on. Maybe that's it. Maybe the food, maybe the food only arrives when you actually turn on catering. I, that van just came along here, then turned around and went back. Do you see that? This guy. Delivery truck. Hearing a lot more are not going to Vegas. Um, as far as I know, Cat Straighter is. Welcome back. Uh, as far as I know, well, Chewy definitely is. Gurkha, I would imagine, won't because of the cost and he's trying to get his brewery going. Um, I think Max will go. I assume John Fly will go because he's not that far away. So, yeah. Check his own restrictions. I don't really have any. I don't, I don't, I don't have any here. I don't think that's working, I'm honest. I don't think any food's turning up. I think this is maybe the delivery truck for the food, but it can't get there. Yeah, her job fly wasn't going interesting. Your zoning restrictions for the I don't have any zoning restrictions on the road, that's the thing. Look, I'm pressing the Z key, all the zones are displayed now. This is a public road. I reckon the tunnel's broken. I reckon it's this. I'm gonna I, I think maybe back-to-back -back tunnels, like, doesn't work. So I'm gonna leave a gap or something. I'm just gonna rebuild that. Maybe they can't make the initial 90 degree turn. We'll find out, I guess. Kind of sucks if that's the case. <laughs> I 
Let's do it like that then. with that one public road tunnel goes down public road tunnel goes down public road then we have tunnel going up Road. Tunnel goes up. Up the road. Captain Flint Paul, since the overlay redesign, there's a list of recent resubs bits in the top right. Was that added intentionally? Yes. Of course it was. <laughs> the Vink, thank you for four months. I think you've done it the wrong way around. I don't think so. So that's a public road tunnel down, and it always comes in from, well, that's left to right, which is the way I did it. Oh, the catering, not the road. Oh, that's what you mean. Right. Um, I'm lost in my own airport. There we go. Okay, so that was the orientation I did. And if you look at the icons, the one on the right is the public road symbol like that. And the one on the left is the spanner, which is a service road. So that's the orientation. So I think that is correct. Yeah, the, so, so imagine that's what it is now. So that's the service road. And then this is the public road. It basically bridges the two. I think that's okay. Let's see what they do when it's built. Okay, that's built now. Wait, these delivery trucks are still doing random stuff, and that's nothing to do with catering. That's not a catering truck. Check your secure zoning underground for the road. I don't think I have any bads, do I? I don't have any zoning underground. I didn't put any though. Let's see what all the dinging is. Let's get rid of all the contractors. That should stop the delivery trucks turning up because they're trying to deliver something that I've not ordered. Let's try that first. Then enable catering and see if anybody arrives. This is definitely not. Occupy all road nodes. Let's try that. 
Maybe not giving a kick. <laughs> Mr. Brett Sand, thank you for 24 months, sir. That's flown. That has absolutely flown. Network 17 with 19 months. Thank you very much. Turn it back onto the menu. I'm going to wait till everything's flushed out. So the workers are about to be removed. I was kind of hoping the delivery truck would stop. That is definitely bugged. I think it's the same vehicle. ONP 907. I think it might be just like one glitched truck. That's so weird. Two years and not enough chilies. Love it. Oh, I'll tell you what a really nice Brett sand. I'm, no, I'm not going to tell you what it is. No, should I tell you? I don't know. I'm going to bring some for you at Cosford. No, I'm not going to tell you. Sorry. I'm going to bring some for you for, at Cosford and hopefully you'll like it. Let me ask you, do you like... Um, do you like hummus? Brett sand. You like hummus? Something is bugged. The catering is the right way around. I think so. You do. Okay. I'll remember near Cosford and I'll bring you something you'll like. I'm just gonna save this, give it a bounce, and um, hopefully that truck will stop the shenanigans. <clears throat> I'll remember Sommy. Or somebody I know will remember me, <laughs> will remind me. One of the two. What I like from that. Um, Maybe, maybe some kind of bottle of chili sauce that is, like, it's not just chili sauce. It's a, uh, some kind of a flavored chili sauce, you know, something that you can maybe like dip, dip your fries in. You know, I like stuff like that. Stuff you can just put some on, on the side of your plate and then dip things in, but they have like different flavors. Uh, how long do you think we will be in the race? puppies um so my prediction puppies was you will start at one which you presumably have started now and you'll be done by 3 p.m that was my prediction it kind of depends what happens in the first lap though because the first lap can be utter carnage in fact if i was you guys i'd probably start at the back and let everybody get in front and then start <laughs> Oh, please tell me he's not. Hey, what's going on? Why is nobody moving? Oh my god, it's... Oh, they're moving. Here we go. Yeah, just start... Oh my god, that's so broken. Yeah, just start from the pits. Is this bugged because I built that? One second. Let me, let me just let me just detach this for a minute. Yeah, they're doing the, they're doing the Bathurst twelve hour race, which I can't join in because out of my rig yet. But yeah, start from the pits and just let the carnage happen because Bathurst is a monster. I'm wondering if that crossroads is causing an issue.
That is causing traffic problems, that thing. Your goal is not to crash the car. That's a good a good objective to have. What? Did I just see that? Did I just see a vehicle go down there, then? What the? How on earth did he manage that when I removed the road? That is my catering truck. Well, okay. That, well, this proves the point. Where's he on? There he is. No way. No way. That's amazing. He's actually delivering food? Okay. Well, well that... So, that tells us a couple of things. Firstly, the game... The road works. The delivery truck got there. But when this is in place, it's doing U-turns. It can't work out how to go that way. I'm not really sure how to fix this. Must be because it's too close. Try moving it back a little. Alright, I'm gonna have to, um... Oh, this is... this is... Like, why is he sat there, turning right? Look. That green... the green vehicle just got stuck there. He's trying to work out how to get there and he can't get there now. Move the tunnel all the other road. What if we... Wait, what? Why can't I build here? What's wrong with that? Oh, the invisible fence, of course. We'll just have to do something crazy to make this work. Clearly, the, the pathing in the in the game is derping uh, out. Wow, look at this car. Happy anniversary, Nutter. This is awkward. Put it there, it means having a public road next to that thing, and that might go a bit weird. Is there a way to make an L-shaped tunnel? Nope. If I put it here, it's going to join in weird ways. Yeah, but I'm con like, Sammy, I'm concerned if I put this down here and then I try to build two two road squares below it, that's fine. If I try to build two road squares above it, 
it's going to try and join on to that service road. And I can't... Like, it snaps four squares at a time. Build it horizontally well, like this. What, you think that's going to fix it? Can try it, I guess. Let's see what it does with that. Uh, Mick, 69, thank you for 49 months. Frosty TV, thank you for a year. These vehicles are still trapped. Trying to work out how to get out of here. Oh boy. That guy's still doing U turns. Uh, okay, sorry, we postponed the uh, Pippa's first ventures till Monday. Because she's got a bit of a sore paw at the moment. She's obviously, I don't know what she's done. Jumped off something and hurt it a bit. So we didn't want to take her for a walk yet. Um, these are still doing U-turns. They still can't figure out how to do it. Is there anything we can do to just like tell the AI to completely rework it? I've already clicked that somewhere. It didn't do anything. I don't get it. Why, why can it not thing is status roaming leaving airport roaming even this can't work out how to get out if it can't work out how to get out something's definitely not right I honestly don't think a restart's going to fix it. I did a restart before and that delivery vehicle just carried on doing donuts. Uh, Black Widow, I'm doing fine, thank you. Has anybody heard anything recently about Kerbal Space 2? Like, any any progress update? Why did I build two floors down? Because on minus one, I've got service roads. Nothing interesting. Uh, 
There you go. Next Thursday, we'll have an empty schedule and we can actually get rid of our lines. Well, Black Widow is, is going to be a combination of things. Oh, hello. Hello. Huzzah. It works. Finally. Okay. Let's make sure the red car makes it out of here. Oh, it's a bit of a gridlock, though. Oh, wait. He turned around. He did a U-turn. Oh, man. Well, a couple made it in. And then the rest are just... Is it full, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Not full. Alright, operations, catering. Let's go back to catering. It's still busted. <laughs> I don't think the restart technically worked. No, he's going in. I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so when I'm on the rig, the camera won't have a green screen. When I'm sat here, the camera will. So you get a mix of both, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, game is right. Thank you for 19. All right, I think that's that's okay. We just need to make sure people are getting catering now. That's well and truly broken. Yeah, the catering is like the more money you pump into it, the the less time they prepare. It's basically a slider. If you find that you you're not having enough meals being made, you can slide this up, spend more money per hour, and have more meals. And there's the stored meals here. I assume you can have another one of these if you need to. Oh, I've never actually seen the, um, the waste truck turn up. Hazardous hauler. Nice. I really despise only having one road into the airport. Like, one main road in. I kind of wish I could connect another road in and out. Contract expired, sales target were not met, penalty 21 grand. What? You, you what, mate? 21 grand? Because you didn't make enough sales? That's your problem, not mine. That's insane. Wait, what would the penalty be? It couldn't have been catering. It doesn't mention anything about a penalty here. See, look at this, right? Paper news. Sales six hundred and forty nine out of eight and a half grand. Rents and sales revenue two hundred and sixty eight grand. But when I signed that contract, I don't remember it being a penalty clause in there. I bet it was this one. Subway. Let's see what Subway says. Airport receives 46%. Uh, they've got everything they need. At least 6,000 sales for completion bonus of 45 grand. Okay, so that's saying if they make their target, I get a bonus. There's nothing about penalty. 
it's for a shop or a restaurant, but I can't find it. I can't find where the contract said there was a penalty. And the thing is, there's no way Costa has only just had 50 sales. Yeah, since it's been running. It's been running for four days. It's had more than 50. It's almost like it's only tracking stats since a reload. Well ripped off. State there's a penalty clause if you read the full contract before signing. Is it only some of them then, Newty? I need to be careful then. If there's some contracts have got penalties in them. Okay, we should start filling out now. This will get better. Catering. Stand A1. Cleaning 91% catering, 79 out of 120. There, yeah, it's loading the meals. That's the catering truck, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Nice. How many tiles from the entrance is the road to the catering? People saying that bugger happens if it's closer than four tiles from the edge of the map. Uh, so the catering, catering depot is here. And the entrance is there. If if that's what you mean. If you mean the entrance to the map. Well, I'm going to be reading them now, Newty. You, you can bet I'll be reading the contract now. Wait, nobody reads instructions, Weasley. Weasel. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Nutter. Ollie G, thanks for 29. Boy 350 coming in nice. That lingus. I love the little details in this game. Well, what they tend to do now, Weasel, is they tend to give you like a quit start guide and then say go on the website for the rest of the instructions. Regarding the low departure baggage rating, it might be because of the high rating of destroyed baggages. You should look into the specialized scanners. Actually, that's something that I never actually got into. I think I researched it all. I think I researched it all, but never actually bothered to um, work out how it works. 
Scanning station. Bag is scanner one, used for detecting suspicious packages. Scanner two, advanced scanner that comes in five different scanning variants. Oh my god. Scanning station three, used for manual scanning by a security officer in search of particular suspicious content. Make sure a, produ a productive security officer is manning to avoid misjudging a bank's content. Now the problem with that one is that uh, I need to get... I need, to, I need to link the foundation so the staff can come down the staircase and get to the scanners. So I think we're going to need a bunch of foundation down here. <clears throat> User chain five tier two scanners. So would the five tier twos replace replace So presumably the rejected items would then go through the five tier twos and then if that rejected it you'd send it to manual and if he rejected it you destroy it. Something like that is what I'm thinking you would do. Yeah, that doesn't work. Right, we'll just do that first. <clears throat> <clears throat> 